Just received my um, new coil in the post for the blue SH50. So I'm going to fit it now and I'm going to see if it's going to give us any answers. Um, the new spark plug didn't turn up yet, but I do have another spare spark plug here, which is a used one. But I know that it was working okay when I took it out of the red bike. So I'm going to try that and I'm going to see if it gives us a few answers or if that was the problem in the first place. Wish me luck. Got my work light set up here. As you can see I have the plastics off the bike. And if you come down here to the side of it, you'll see that the coil is fitted, if I can point it out, just here. One bolt. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna put the new one on and see how we get on. Just to point out um, that when you get these there's two wires, one's black and yellow stripe, and the other one's green. And when you look at your coil, this is the old coil, the green goes to the green. See that? Black to black. New coil's no different. Green, black. So you fit the wires on the same way, and you screw it on the same way back onto the bike. So I'm not doing a big long video today, so I'm going to put it on and then I'm just going to try the bike. And I'll video that whenever I get that far. Okay, so coil's fitted. Let's just turn on the fuel, jump in and see what happens. Will it even start? Is this the right coil? Who knows? Well, I'm not getting anything in the battery, so hopefully the battery's not gone done on me. Uh, Wiring's a bit dodgy on this bike, I have to sort it out yet. There we go. Well, it's running. Yeah, I'm going to give this a few minutes to heat up. I'm going to take it out of the shed here. Then we'll take it for a wee spin up the estate and see if it's any better. Well, I took it for a little spin up the estate here. And I'm happy to say that uh, the coil has sorted my issue. Well, I believe it has. The bike's just not fully warmed up yet to fully know. But I'm pretty sure it has. And I'm going to take it for a wee spin back up to the house here just so you can see. And this thing has a little bit of go to it. <laughs> Speedometer's not working unfortunately. She's flying now. Sorry, there's no back brake. I just had to use my uh, front brake there to slow down for the corner so. she's running good now very happy so that's all blue up and running now and all I have to do now is get the plastics and start to paint it up um, I do have papers to get for it that won't matter hopefully we'll get them it was a UK registered bike, uh, somewhere around 1994, so hopefully the UK guys in Swansea will have a record of that. 
but anyway, I'm at my home now, so I'm gonna have to go because I have a little alleyway to you know, negotiate here, and I can't do it with one hand. So, thanks, guys. See you later. So there you are, guys. I am extremely happy. My hands are effing freezing because it's minus three here at the minute, and I had no gloves. But I am so happy because the bike is now running the way it should be running. And I can now get on with the restoration. And I may just get it running and get the bits that it's missing, plastics wise, and just sell it on. I don't know. Um, all depends on my bank account and on time. Because I do want to get at this CB125RS. It's my most important project. The thing that means the most to me. And these are not as important to me. So my hands are freezing here. <laughs> uh, over the moon. Over the moon. So see you next video, guys. Thanks for watching. And any comments are appreciated. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of any videos I'm putting up. Um, just to let you know, like if you're having an issue where uh, you're getting your bike up into the high rev range and it starts to spit and fart and mess around there's a good chance that it's your coil if it's an old bike and the coil's on it from probably day one uh, it's worth changing out just to find that out um, there you go problem solved see you later guys so we just thought I'd add a little bit more onto the video for Bly Gutta there who commented um, the last SH50 video that I did and I want to give a little bit of advice for anyone that's uh, decided to fit a Chinese carb with um, automatic choke and I'm not an expert by any means so just so you know that I'm learning the same as you but I've done it now twice and I have an idea of what can go wrong and what to do to sort that out so i'm going to give a little bit of advice to anyone who's got an sh50 and they're going to fit a chinese carb onto it and the only reason i'm doing this is because i've been told there's very few videos on uh sh50 uh, city express on the youtube so naturally if you're looking for help with one of them you're going to come across my videos and um, I hope that they're going to be of some help to you. So, first of all, um, you'll do away with the old system. The only part of you should have to block up is on the actual pipe that the um, the intake pipe. And you can buy the little blanks on eBay. I got a few of them. You'll see them in my videos. Just on the red bike, especially, you'll see them. Wee blanks that I got. And uh, you buy a few of them and you block off just that one vacuum part, the, the part that feeds the vacuum for the petrol tank. Because you don't need that pipe anymore, you're going to be replacing that vacuum system altogether. Because I've found twice now when I fitted these carbs that what happens is the bike starts emptying itself out of fuel, actually quite a lot. Uh, well the carb does, sorry. It's not getting the fuel quick enough. Uh, the vacuum's not filling the carb quick enough because the the carb seems to be have a bigger bowl or something. I'm not too, quite sure what it is, but I know that changing the uh, changing the petcock to a normal on off switch it works a lot better. Just free flow and blocking off the vacuum part of it, obviously on the bike. Uh, the choke you can do away with. You won't need it. Um. You wire it in, the yellow wire goes to the yellow on the bike, and the green goes to the earth, I earth it to the battery, that's what I did, the earth side of the battery, negative, and that should be pretty much you ready to go, you will have a bit of fiddling about to do with the float, you may need to adjust the float just a little bit, to let a little bit more in than it should, Um, I find that that helped with the red bike, this one I haven't had it on a long enough spin to know if that's going to be an issue yet. But I'll probably adjust it that way anyway, just to be sure. Um, now, the problem with the blue one this time was the coil. 
Um, my advice, if it's an old bike, even if the coil's good, it's only about 30 quid. I mean, it's not going to break the bank for peace of mind. Just change it out. Um, change it out, and then anything else goes wrong, you can rule it out as an issue. And you know it has to be fuel delivery or something else. But that's it. That's all I can tell you about putting on one of these Chinese carbs. But I can tell you that it works. Um, I changed the gearing system on the red bike as well. To oh, I can't remember the name of the company now, but you can look through my videos and you'll find it. Um, it worked. It got it up to forty miles an hour, forty forty five plus. Sometimes fifty five or fifty six, maybe even more downhill. If it's a really good hill, it'll do nearly sixty miles per hour not kilometers so um that makes a big difference but that's it guys that's all the advice i can give you on that and it's onwards and upwards for this blue bike now uh, whenever i get the plastics and stuff and i'll probably spread both frames of both bikes together now i just have papers to apply for as i said for the blue one but i'll i'll try and do that I need somebody in the UK or with a Northern Irish address to, to get that for me though. Okay, thanks for watching guys.